Hello everyone, Team and Game here, and today I am bringing you a brilliant gameplay on a mission domination game, just a regular 636 using the KSG shotgun. Now, before I get into the commentary proper, there is just one thing I want to mention. Um, for some reason, the YouTube processing is really struggling again. Um, and if you don't know what that means, basically, when you upload a video, as well as transferring the data to YouTube, YouTube processes the video you've uploaded and it um, it seems to be messing up somehow and the consequence of this messing up means that uh, quite a lot of videos aren't getting into the sub boxes of my subscribers, you guys and occasionally the videos aren't even going into my secondary channel subs uh, subscribers box you know because I have a, a second channel just to check and look at the channel from a subscriber's point of view so to have a look at the video see if they arrive in the sub box have a look at the channel page see if it looks alright that sort of stuff so you know it's a problem when it can't even process the video properly so that I get my own video it's 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 really poor but what I've decided to do to help get around that is link my previous video in the description so it'll be the top link in the description it'll be there every single video so during a video at some point have a quick check because I, what I normally do now is I put the name of the last video in there so if that's something you haven't seen before and it interests you please uh, definitely go and check it out and the good thing is if you go back one video to my uh, second video that I've just uploaded then the, the previous video to that will be linked in that description so if you haven't seen that you can go back again and so on and so on so that that's the best way I can see to, to help you guys catch up so far but you know, it's just a little bit frustrating, really, that the, the vast majority of my subscribers aren't getting their videos, you know, my videos in their subscription box. But what are you going to do? Right, let's get on to the gameplay. Now, Mission is a map that really, similar to Arcaden yesterday, uh, when I was talking about Arcaden, Mission is a map that really has improved in my, uh, in my estimations. Because when I first played this map, I think it's probably the spawns to be honest it just seemed too hectic I mean most of the Modern Warfare 3 maps seem too hectic and the problem with very very hectic maps is you don't really have any opportunity to rely on player skill you know the vast majority of your kills and of your deaths are gonna be through just fluke more than anything obviously gun skill will play into a part but when you have people spawning behind you when you're spawning behind other people it just turns into a massive smash up and a melee and in that sort of scenario the very best players and the very worst players get pulled together a little bit more but when now that the spawns have moved back I know it hasn't been a massive change but even this slight change here by moving the spawns back it has really enabled the slightly better players to play well more regularly again because now you can use clever movement a lot more than you could before the uh, the spawns are updated because what used to happen before you'd be trying to flank someone, you'd shoot someone and then the guy you shot would spawn behind you and kill you so you've wasted about 30 seconds of flanking for basically no reward and you get killed shot in the back from the spawn so that was very very frustrating you don't see that happen too much anymore it still happens a little bit too much of my liking but it's drastically re reduced on what it was so that is one of the reasons why shotguns have come back into the game because you might say that the really hectic um, sort of gameplay would suit shotguns but it doesn't really because when you sit down and think about it with a weapon like the KSG, like I'm using now, if you run into more than two people at the same time, you're really struggling. Because even the Striker, one of the best, you know, rapid-fire shotguns has been in Call of Duty in general, that would struggle to deal with more than three people at once. Um, and now that the spawns have really been moved out a little bit, you see a lot more people using shotguns and a lot more people having success with shotguns because before the only time you'd see people use it was say in ground war in headquarters a couple of people use strikers and once in a while you might see a striker guy top the leaderboard i mean i think the youtube scene is very very distorted as to what call of duty is like to play because the vast majority of people on youtube are decent players i mean there's no doubt about that and the very very famous ones the people who are well known are excellent players so I think it's just a little bit um, of a reactive sort of community that was a nice little streak but what I mean is oh that god I didn't really 
<laughs> I didn't realise I got a five, uh, five in a row there. That was a, a pleasant surprise for me. But what I was going to say is, you know, a lot of the YouTube community seems to be reactionary. So whenever someone uploads a really good gameplay with, say, the striker, there's a lot of heat all of a sudden on the striker. Oh, personally, I didn't think the striker was that bad. Perhaps it was like a teensy bit overpowered. But the way some people were describing it, it was like you couldn't kill the guy with the striker. And, you know, I use the striker. I use the striker on a reasonable internet connection now, which has uh, finally come about. And it really isn't as overpowered as a lot of people were saying. But, you know, that's, I think, the only real problem with the Call of Duty community. It's a little bit too reactionary, a little bit too urgent and demanding of immediate change. Um, and in some cases, that's that's a good thing. For example, the revenge spawns. They were just such an atrocious idea. The community really needed to put its foot down. And I'm really pleased that it did. And I, I sincerely hope that not just Infinity Ward, but Triarch and Activision have thoroughly learnt their lesson with that. Because in recent Call of Duties, there's been a slight... Well, not quite a slight thing, actually. There's been quite a substantial step away from the hardcore community who made you know call of duty what it was and what's resulted out of that is a lot of very very newbie innovations because let's be honest revenge spawns are there to help the very worst player because it's basically saying right we we know you can't get a kill normally so every now and again when you die you're going to spawn behind the guy who killed you and get a cheap kill and it just it's awful that so hopefully now infinity ward Treyarch, and activision have learned that you can't just uh set your game up around the worst in the, in the lobby because it just annoys the other 90% of people. Anyway, there's not much of the commentary left but I just wanted to say the KSG is a weapon I'm really beginning to like now because I, I've stopped using the striker a little bit because I'm grinding it to gold. I'm about halfway through level 30 and you know how long that takes. So I wanted a little bit of a, a freshen up while still using a shotgun and the KSG is a, is a really refreshing choice. Just like I said last game play commentary you really don't see too many people using it but it's still a viable option and I'm really looking forward to unlocking damage on it because whilst grip is useful you can see from that kill there that is not long range and it gives me a hit marker and I my aim was pretty spot on there what I have also started to do is I've started to use shotguns with sit rep instead of steady aim because what I find the steady aim reticle is too small when you put steady aim on shotguns and you need that little bit of extra spread to be able to take out your targets because you can only be half a meter up and not get the kill with steady aim but if you're you know half a meter over his right hand shoulder for example you will still kill him without steady aim so that's another thing for you to try guys i hope you've enjoyed watching the video um it's a brilliant gameplay if i <laughs> if i may say so myself it's 49 and 3 um only using low kill streaks as well so i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have Please rate and comment as always, and as always, guys, have a great day.